hello viewers welcome to another section of my tutorials and today we are going to talk about series and parallel resistor connection now a resistor is an element in a circuit which opposes the flow of electric current through the circuit a circuit may contain one or more resistor so there is different connection ways of connecting the resistor so you have the series connection you have the parallel connection and it can also be neither series nor parallel connection so we are going to see how resistors are being connected in series and being connected in parallel and how to identify series and parallel resistor connection in complex circuits so now let's see some conditions that will hold for resistors to be connected in series and also in parallel so we have for a series connection there should be no node between the resistors if you're having two resistors for them to be in series, there shouldn't be any node. When you say a node, a node is a point in an electrical circuit where a current will divide or split up or can also add up. So if two resistors have a node between them, then it's, it's not in series. So for series connection, there should be no node between the resistors. Then the same current should flow through the resistors. So the same current should flow through these resistors for them to be in series. Now let's see for parallel connection. For parallel connection, there should be a node. So for parallel, a node should be between the resistors so that the current was split and different currents will pass through each resistor. Then the second thing is it should be possible to traverse a path through the resistors without having to go through another circuit element. So if you go around the resistors which are in parallel, you shouldn't meet any other circuit element not even a battery or any cell. So these are the conditions for resistors to be in parallel or series connection. Now let's see some examples here and identify resistors which are in series and in parallel here. Now this is our first example. In our first example, we have five resistors here. And for the five resistors, we have resistor one, resistor two, resistor three, resistor four, resistor five. So let's see, considering resistor 4 and 5, you can see that there is a node here, so they can never be in series. And if I traverse, if I move past, or if I move along their paths, there is no other circuit element here, so I can see that resistor 4 and 5 are in parallel. Now let's see resistor 2 and 3. For resistor 2 and 3, there is a node here, another node is also here, so they can never be in series. For that reason, if I pass through their path, you can see that if I pass through here, through here, through here, I'm meeting another element here, which is R4. That is the resistor 4. So resistor 2 and 3 are not in parallel. If they were to be in parallel, though there is a node, but if I pass through, I shouldn't meet any other element, even a resistor, except the two resistors into consideration. So here, R2 and R3 are not in parallel. Let's see R1 and R2. For R1 and R2, I have a node here. So they can never be in series. For that reason, let's see if I pass through or if I traverse their paths, I'm not meeting any other elements. So I can see that R1 and R2 are in parallel. Now, when you are considering parallel and series connection of resistors, we consider two at a time. So let's see our second example. For our second example, we have six resistors here. And for our six resistors, you can see that R1 and R2 here, there is no node between them. I can The same current will pass through them. Hence, R1 and R2 are in series. Now, let's see that of R3 and R4. There is no node between them. Though there is a battery here, but the same current will pass through them. R3 and R4 are also said to be in series. Now, let's see R5 and R6. R5 and R6 are also said to be in series since there is no node between them now let's see our third example for our third example we have four resistors here and for the four resistors we can see that r3 and r4 are in parallel since there's a node here there's a node here so when i go through their paths i'm not meeting any other element so i can see that r3 and r4 are said to be in parallel now let's see r1 and r2 for r1 and r2 if I move through their paths, there is a node here, so they can't be in series. 
But if I move through their path, I'm meeting R3 here. So I can't move a complete path without meeting R3. Hence, R1 and R2 are not in series. Sorry, are not in parallel. First, the node here makes them not to be in series. Then, if I traverse through their path, I'm meeting R3 here. So I can see that they are also not in parallel. So R1 and R2 are neither in series nor in parallel. But it's only R3 and R4 which are in parallel here because there is a node here, there is a node here. But when I move through their path, I'm not meeting any other elements. Let's see the fourth example. For the fourth example, I'm having five resistors here. R1, R2, R3, R4, R5. So let's see. If I consider R1 and R2, there is no node here. When I pass through here, there is no node here. But... I can see that I cannot traverse through their path without meeting R4. So R1 and R2 are not in parallel first. Then also there is a node here. So since this node is in between R2 and R4, it's automatically also between R2 and R1. Because if I'm moving from R1 to R2, I come and pass through here and also encounter this node. For that reason, R2, R1, R4, they are neither in series nor in parallel. We have also a way of considering them. But for this video, we are considering only the series and parallel resistor connection. Now, let's see for the last one. We have R1, R2, R3 here. We can see that for R1 and R2, there is a node here. There is a node here. So, they are not in series. But I can traverse through their path from here. I'll traverse through their path. And I'll see that I'm meeting this battery here. So, therefore, R1 and R2 are not in parallel also. Now, what about R2 and R3? There is a node here. So, R2 and R3, there is another node here, are not in series. Now, if I move through their paths, I also meet this battery here. For that reason, R2 and R3 are not in parallel. What about R1 and R3? R1 and R3 has a lot of nodes in between them. But if I traverse through their paths, I'm not meeting any other elements here. Therefore, I can see that R1 and R3 rather are in parallel. Thank you very much for watching the video. Kindly subscribe, follow as I will be making videos concerning this and I will be solving more examples on series and parallel connection. Thank you.